Hey everyone, if you love history and drama, then you are in for a treat. Today we'll take a deep dive into the tumultuous rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon, and the consequences of their battle for the throne. We'll start off by discussing their background and the conflicting views that framed their rivalry, before going on to exploring the power struggle that ensued, and finally the conflict and war that their power struggle ultimately dragged the realms into. At the end of this video, I'll summarize the main events and observations that we've made along the way. So, if you love the drama like I do, make sure you hit that like button and stick around. Princess Rhaenyra was the firstborn child of King Viserys I, who reigned during the 207th year of the Targaryen dynasty in Westeros. She was believed to be the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, and in support of this claim, she was given the title of Princess of Dragonstone, a title only bestowed to a legitimate heir. Rhaenyra was a shrewd, ambitious, and determined princess, and fiercely advocated for her claim to the throne. She was also known for her independent streak, as well as her political astuteness, which enabled her to amass a powerful council of supporters and minor lords loyal to her own cause. Despite this, she was also known for having a somewhat irascible nature, which made her somewhat unpopular with the general public. In the eyes of her supporters, however, her determination and strength of conviction enabled them to rally behind her in her pursuit of the throne. Her father, King Viserys I, was in no doubt as to who the rightful heir to his kingdom was, and he made sure that the kingdom's nobles recognized this. He declared Rhaenyra his rightful heir, and formally handed her the position of Princess of Dragonstone in order to cement her place in succession. However, this would only create the foundations for a rivalry that would develop between Princess Rhaenyra and her newly acknowledged royal rival, her half-brother, Prince Aegon. Prince Aegon was the second child of King Viserys, and the younger brother of Princess Rhaenyra. He was only fathered by Viserys following his remarriage, and so was born of a lower standing than his elder sister. Despite his lower social standing, Aegon remained favored by his father and by the nobility due to his docile, unassuming, and courtly nature. Despite being born of a lesser house, Aegon had his own strong claim to the Iron Throne, and he too was entitled to the title of Prince of Dragonstone, a title given to him by King Viserys to solidify his own royal standing. Although he was favored by the court and admired by the nobility, Prince Aegon had a deep ambition and ambition to take the throne, a feeling that had grown in magnitude ever since his father had crowned Rhaenyra, his elder sister, Princess of Dragonstone, as such, this ambition would become the catalyst for a fierce rivalry between the two siblings, and it soon became clear that only one would reign as king or queen of Westeros. Aegon's supporters argued that he should be named heir to the throne, as succession custom in Westeros dictates that the throne should be passed down through the male line. On the other hand, Rhaenyra's followers argued that she should be coronated, due to the fact that she was acknowledged as the rightful heir before her brother's birth. Convinced of his superior claim to the throne, Aegon declared himself king and subsequently declared war against his sister in a bid to win the Iron Throne. Princess Rhaenyra reciprocated the challenge, and the two began a period of fierce conflict and rivalry for the Iron Throne. The passionate and conviction behind each of the two siblings' claims meant that the war would be both vicious and costly. It would consume the continent of Westeros and devastate both sides as they fought for ultimate control of the Iron Throne. The rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon was rooted in the contrasting views they held and their opposing political ideologies. Despite being siblings, their ambitions and views of what was right for Westeros clashed with one another. Princess Rhaenyra was a strong and determined woman who was confident in her capacity to lead, and she felt that she was a rightful heir to the throne as she had been crowned by her father before her brother's birth. This confidence drove her to act against the popular opinion of the court nobility and openly challenge her brother's claim to power, enabling her to stand in a position of strength against her younger brother. Conversely, Prince Egon was more of a courtly figure with ties to the nobility. He believed in the traditional way of ruling and felt he was more suited to the role of king. His close relationship with the nobility enabled him to rally support to him and oppose Rhaenyra's views. Consequently, Egon had a strong support base and a loyal following. Ultimately, their differing views and the ambition they both harbored caused a split in Westeros. Citizens had to choose between the two, and it was a difficult decision for those involved. On one hand, the powerful and able Rhaenyra, 
provided a strong and female leadership, but on the other, the gentle and composed Aegon promised to restore the traditional order that many were so used to. As such, the stark contrast between the two siblings' ideologies and political hopes was an essential driving force of their rivalry. However, it was only the beginning as it ultimately snowballed into an all-out power struggle for control of the Iron Throne. The rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon quickly escalated into a full power struggle for the Iron Throne as both were determined to secure the throne and draw kingship back in their favor. Rhaenyra proceeded to capitalize on her ability to lead in an impressive and inspiring way, rallying her banners and growing her coalition. Moreover, her adept use of diplomacy and her experiences from city and court life enabled her to gain the support of the High Lords and the court nobility alongside her loyal base of mainly stronger houses. Conversely, Egon was intent on protecting his lineage by any means necessary and manufactured illegitimate letters to discredit his sister, driving her claim to the throne. He was supported by a formidable coalition of powerful lords and wealthy families, as well as some of the high lords. Thus, as both siblings persistently asserted their right to power, tensions grew and forced a decisive outcome. To add to their power struggles, supporting houses and lords had to choose their allegiances, and this in itself caused further opposition amongst Westeros. The power struggle resulted in a relentless conflict of loyalty and a sense of duty, with both competing forces determined to legitimize their claim. Eventually, the power struggle became too much, and it drove Westeros into war. A carnage resulted from the power struggle, with neither sibling willing to relent and calm the tensions of the kingdom. Both houses Targaryen and their allies were driven to fight, and it quickly became an issue of survival for those on both sides of the conflict. Furthermore, innocent bystanders, not involved in the war, were left without protection and ended up paying the ultimate price. Ultimately, the power struggle between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon encompassed Westeros and caused a surge in civil unrest and civil war within the kingdom. It was a heartbreaking time for the entire kingdom and was a significant factor in the suffering of the people of Westeros. The conflict and war that arose due to the ongoing rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon quickly engulfed all of Westeros and left a lasting legacy of destruction and death throughout the kingdom. As both siblings persistently sought to gain legitimacy, their supporters soon rallied around them and tension between the houses began to mount. The war between the houses resulted in much collateral damage and the whole of Westeros suffered the consequences. The mainlanders and other distant lands who had nothing to do with the war found themselves in immediate danger, having to adapt or flee quickly in the face of the onslaught. Lands were immediately sacked and looted, villages were burned, and many scattered to the four corners of Westeros. Unfortunate collateral casualties included minstrels, merchants, and servants who were being used as pawns in the war. In addition, there were also those who were loyal to both of the siblings, who were now in a difficult situation where they had to choose a side. If a person chose to support one sibling over the other, then there was the risk of betrayal and a further permanent rift between the two sides. Consequently, the fighting between both sides became widespread and the length of the war was drawn out. As the war progressed, all sense of order and rule seemed to have been abandoned and anarchy seemed to become the rule of law. There was a lot of public misfortune during the war, and no one was free from it, as even the fiercest supporters of both sides found themselves besieged and defenseless in the war's wake. Moreover, when one of the siblings seemed to be in the lead, an opposing force would always show up at the battlefield and drive the war further until it hit a decisive turning point. This perpetual back and forth pushed the war to unimaginable lengths and resulted in Westeros spilling a lot of innocent blood and suffering. Ultimately, it was bitter rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon that drove the war. The Battle of the Trident marked the turning point of the war, and those involved in the battle knew it. But the deadly toll this battle would take was unimaginable. Thousands of men and horses plunged their lives into the river in their honor and loyalty to their sovereigns. What followed was yet more loss of life. During the Battle of Rook's Rest, Furious fighting and frequent mass charges of heavily armored horse riders took their toll on both sides. This was further worsened by Prince Aegon's dragon, Balerion, who showered the battlefield with fire from the sky above. The Siege of Harrenhal was yet again another tragedy in itself. 
Not only were the peasants of Harrenhal massacred for their loyalty to Princess Rhaenyra, but both sides suffered heavy casualties. It is said that at least two 5000 men were killed or injured in the persistent onslaught. Whilst the war raged on, Prince Aegon would go on to secure victory on Dragonstone, further pushing the boundaries of Princess Rhaenyra's territory. Despite her retaliations, her forces continued to be diminished by frequent defeats. Eventually, at the Battle of Merengar, Prince Aegon finally emerged triumphant, putting an end to Rhaenyra's hopes of a successful claim to the throne. It is estimated that at least 80000 people died in the civil war that was aggravated and prolonged by the relentless rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon. As the war came to an end, the damage left behind was so immense that Westeros wouldn't recover from it for many years to come. The results and consequences of this ongoing rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon was a war that destroyed countless lives and impacted countless more. The Civil War serves as a reminder for the inextricable link between personal ambition, power and control, and the personal and collective suffering which inevitably follows. The rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon is a tale so epic in its scale, its impact on Westeros will be remembered for centuries to come. Despite the valiant efforts of both sides, the events that followed only put to waste the lives of thousands who fought for either house. The series of civil wars that ensued as a result of their rivalry served as a stark reminder of how quickly land and wealth can be consumed in the struggle for power. The true price of the cold ambition of both Rhaenyra and Aegon was paid with the lives of the common people and of their dragons, and once the war came to an end, the damage had already been done. Though the struggle of Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon has already passed into legend, the lessons we are able to learn from their rivalry are no less instructive. We can vividly see that in matters of controversy or power struggle, be it between individuals, families or nations, the consequences of such practices, whether intended or unintended, will never be limited just to those directly involved. Understanding this history of struggle and the conflict it causes, we can trace the toll it takes on the peoples of Westeros and the world. Nonetheless, it is also important to remember that such conflict isn't always a bad thing. To put it in another manner, rivalry between individuals isn't all tragedy. At times, it can inspire progress and even peace. It can bring out loyalty, heroism and memorable stories that can be passed on. In the presence of this kind of positive rivalry, we can arrive at a harmony that serves all our needs. So. If you enjoyed this video showing the rivalry between Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Aegon, please remember to like it, leave a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe to ensure your journey through Westeros continues.